I'm Jay Rico 85 says, Hey, remember after the draft, everyone buzzed bully ball, man. That was hilarious. That's good stuff. Kyle bullies his ballers. And I've said, no, bully ball's coming next year. Don't next worry year. about it. Next year. Next yeah. Year, next year. And that's what he's going to sell to Jed when Jed says, Hey, why don't, why shouldn't I fire you? Bully ball, baby. It's coming. It's coming. Serious question. What are coaches who don't call plays in charge of? What do they do during the game? Um, that depends. Yeah, I don't I don't really know what Mike McDaniels does. Um, I don't know what Rich Scangarello does. I don't know. Rich I know Scangarello what Demi- talks to the quarterback between the, the, the drives. I don't know what, what Mike McDaniel does. Mm, Rich's communication is, is so important. So yeah. good. Yeah. Ayuk's situation is simple. Kyle hates you. You campaigned for Ayuk to return punts. Ayuk sided with you. Now he returns punts and gets no targets. If, and, if and that's the thing the reason, is that probably the that's probably it. That's probably if it. that's if that's the reason I'm gonna be super upset. If that if the he's thing doing is, this, that's probably right. I made this whole thing, and Ayuk was probably like, "Hey, coach, I'm down." And he's like, and Kyle's probably like, "Do you want to be a wide receiver or a punt returner?" And ever since then, you know what I mean? It's like, okay, you can return punts, but now I don't think you're a serious. It's like they're waiting for for Ayuk to come up and be like, "Okay, I don't want to return punts anymore. I just want to focus on being a wide receiver." Like, oh, great. In that case, tough love. DRB, thank you for saying that because I, I didn't want to say it myself, but I got to say the thought has crossed my mind. How petty is Kyle? Very petty. Extremely petty. Niners going to sign GM coach Aaron Rodgers in free agency. Yeah. Hey, Aaron, do you want to be the coach, quarterback, general manager, and owner? Because we don't we have nothing to lose. We have nothing. We see how it's working in Tampa Bay. We want to double down here. Kyle, listen to Jason and Grant right now, rubbing his hands together like Birdman. They talk and smack about me. Watch what I'm going to do with this offense. Good. That great. Good. That would be great. Justin Herbert and Chargers did not make playoffs last year, but Herbert looked great. That's what we should be doing. The problem is Anthony Lynn got fired. But Anthony Lynn, I mean, he was not – I'm just saying, like, he didn't really get dude prepared. But here's the thing is that's the point. How is yeah. that not a successful season last year, even though they didn't make the playoffs with Justin Herbert? They know they had their guy going forward, and he showed the glimpses of the future. And Anthony Lynn tried to get him killed multiple times at the at the goal line. Not to mention with the training. Oh, well, anyway, that's the other guy. Ninerbot says, you guys really think the 21-year-old rookie quarterback has a better chance of winning games than a veteran quarterback that went to the Super Bowl? Yes, Jimmy G is boring, but be logical. It's less yes, about – it's less about – better chance and what does he what stress does he put on defenses everyone just sits back with jimmy garoppolo and they're just like all right throw it in the middle of the field or throw it here like put it like this the jair alexander interception against the packers he immediately knew where he was going with the ball and was able to break on it from the other sideline and get over there and make an interception. You know why? The book is out. You know who the book is not out on? Trey Lance. Sometimes the element of surprise outweighs what you know. And and at this point, this team is not a Super Bowl contending team. I'm sorry. It's Just not. get it started. Kick it off. It's not. So so why are we trying to eat? What's the difference between winning eight games and nine? Right. Joseph says, "Not funny on Kyle's comment about quarterback." Absolutely not funny. That's that's oh, absolutely man. not funny, and that drove me over the edge on my own podcast. For you to make a joke about, oh, I told Jimmy, hey, you're gonna have uh, some company and rehab. Here comes Trey. Not funny. Nothing funny about it. If that's your attempted humor, then Mark Zuckerberg is actually jealous of how well you can be a stand-up comic because that was straight up robotic, and that is that. Read the room. Read the room, Kyle. Please. Again, like you're making light of the fact that another one of your quarterbacks is hurt. Every one of your quarterbacks has gotten hurt since you got here. Hoyer, Bethard, Mullins, Garoppolo, multiple times, Lance, multiple times. I mean, and it's a joke. It's a, hey, that's football. That's funny. That's funny? I don't know. Kyle has so much faith in his early draft picks that he doesn't play them, so the next staff looks wonderful. I don't think coach is out of here though, because I just think that it's not Jed York's decision anymore. I think he got kind of overruled that I think it's his mom's thing. Cause Gary Plummer said on the no huddle podcast that it was the mother who is the reason that Kyle's here. So I don't know if Jed has autonomy right now. Sorry, Jed, don't kill me for that one. Jay Yappy says, Grant, do a film breakdown of like 10 plus plays that Kyle called calls for CJ and Jimmy that would have made the game so much easier for Trey, please. Oh, that's a good idea. I will, but go in the meantime, go back and watch like a, a, a the game that the Niners played against the Cardinals last year in Arizona, the one that CJ started. Watch that game. Watch the watch, watch the Eagles game. game. Watch the Eagles game with Nick Mullins and watch that yeah. opening script of easy throws for him, and then get upset because that could happen with any of these quarterbacks. Jaeger eight hundred five says Sermon Willis Jr. and Mitchell Mitchell will be key. I'd like to see the defense out on the field first if we win coin flips. 
Yeah. yeah. But uh, if the if the offensive line doesn't know where to block, the offensive line is losing blocks. It's a little bit harder. They miss George Kittle in this game too for run blocking as well. Like you know, you can That's say what true. you want, but it's, yeah, you know. That's so true. I mean, it's just it's just the the personnel grouping, right? So people are telling me Elijah Mitchell, you know, hey, you know, you got to watch him because he was a little bit injured. Okay, then Trey Sermon should play more than two snaps. Where right. where, where's the logic in that? Where's yeah. the logic? Agree. Tony says, let's fire Shanahan, bring back Jim Harbaugh, I quit getting these secondhand t- players that we feel that we can discount. That that bridge is, I've never seen a bridge more burned. It's 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 in ashes. Yes. Yes. It's in yeah, ashes. Yeah. After it's after what personal. happened, and Harbaugh, Harbaugh gets to stay in Michigan and they can perform mediocre and he'll be there. He's home. I don't see yeah, why he would come back here. JB, that's it, says we need OG Cone there because he would have had Kyle's head with his hands. My, yeah, dude, my dad. Oh, Lowell, Lowell would have been all over. Or, or Mr. Cone, I'm sorry. I didn't he, would have, he, yeah, yeah. Lowell. he would have been there, man. That would have been fun. Kyle has no idea. Uh, you just kind of be a rite of passage for, for these coaches out here. You think you got it easy on the West Coast. Boo, who is this little Jewish man from Brooklyn that is in my face? Why is he? Wow, this guy is relentless. Yeah, man. It's, Mr. Cone no, would have not I, let up. No, nah, he was <laughs> – I'm not like that at all. I feel KS has no rhythm because his play calling uses up too many of his aces just to get a first or two. Doing uh, too much to compensate for the quarterback thoughts. I don't know. I think he's doing too little to compensate for the quarterbacks. Like, I think they should get him easier throws. I mean, that's all we've been yelling about. Did you guys hear Lynch yesterday spoke really high of Lance, was encouraging to hear, but the IU stuff makes no sense. Or Serban, we need that. I mean, you know what you could have did with those picks and it would have been, it would have had the same impact. Could have drafted a long snapper, a field goal kicker, a punter, and it would have had the same impact of right now, Ambry Thomas, Aaron Banks, Trey Sermon. You could have just thrown them away. You could have just could have thrown just, the picks away. You could, you could have let them auto-draft the, 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 the picks. You could have like, just you know, you included could, them in the trade with the with the Dolphins. Like, we're not going to do anything with these picks. Like, all right, we, like, they'll ask, what's the pick? I don't know. Surprise me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, man, thanks for doing an extra long show with me today. I appreciate it. It was nice to have a little midday, bi-week special. This was fun. Yeah, and uh, I just wanted to, you know, let people know, listen, I'm highly critical of Kyle Shanahan Ram. It's still only Shans on this side, and it's still that. But at the same time, I have to be objective. And whatever. I know people are going to either feel a type of way about what I've been saying, and that's fine because you can't really be anything. You know, you can't always be correct on these shows, right? Like when I when, when I go on these shows and I tell people 2 plus 2 is 4, I usually have someone yell at me, what do you mean 2 plus 2 is 4? We offered all of our criticisms today in a constructive spirit. Yeah, we didn't say it. that Kyle Shanahan needs to get fired today. I, I set a date on it that's really in two months from now. We, December 5th. We said that. You know, it's your bye week. You have the intellect. You have the ability to turn this around. And we pretty much just spent the 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 show kind of pushing him, like, like kind of pushing him in the chest. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, what are you gonna do about it? And and I wouldn't be upset if I didn't expect more of you. Right. If this was Jim Tom Sula, I would just be like, whatever. Fire him. You get someone know. new. Yeah, get rid of whatever. Him. Fire him. Yeah, we've seen. But enough. I ex- I expect more. Everyone else expects more. That's the thing. It's and time. He's am- he's admitted himself that he needs to be better. Good. Now, the first step is admitting. Yeah. Now you get a whole week, put it in place, show us what's happening. Win 10 games. Win 10 games. Make the right decision for who's going to start on Sunday Night Football. Yes, right, baby. 